Spike Cello Festival, Dublin's alternative cello festival, happened this year for the first time, our first event in February. Uh, where did we come up with the idea? Um, I think every time we get together we get really excited by people yeah. we knew that were doing different things with their cellos and, and we felt like we were doing... Mm. You do different things different and I do different things. With our cellos, different from each other and different from other people. And we thought it would be really nice to gather together everybody for a weekend uh, that we knew and then we got excited by other people we know further afield that we're doing stuff and we thought well we'll, we'll make a little list and let's celebrate this leoba playing to uh, an original film that's right i music for? did uh, uh, i performed for the first time did the irish premiere of my uh, film score for uh, chris marker's la jeté from 1962 and um, so i did that for cello uh, loop pedal voice and kind of field recordings The Alec Brown trio, which yeah. was really beautiful. Well, he, he did a mixture of a few covers and his own songs, and and kind of has this bluegrass kind of hip hop sort of vibe in his cello playing. So he was pretty incredible. Murphy, my goodness, who has been playing the cello um, in various ways and forms for many years. Mm. He uh, set up a band called Seti the First, who are amazing, who have cellos and marxophones and nickel harpers in, lots of really crazy, beautiful string sounds. And now he also plays in Slow Moving Clouds, uh, plays cello in that, and they do uh, trad music, but Finnish trad music. Mm. And he writes a lot of soundtracks and composes a lot of stuff so he came in and just did some cello stuff with one or two cellos uh, that he'd written all himself it was gorgeous yeah. to follow that was uh, Michelle Eggleston who performed pretty much like well topless <laughs> And ran Stand around with up cello. with cello <laughs> yeah. and musical accompaniments. Um, leapt off the stage and sat on people's laps and entertained us. He actually he this he was probably responsible. The most alternative cellist of the entire festival was probably responsible for the for the most classical moment. And mm -hmm. um, do you remember his, he played the first penny, Bach's first penny with kazoo <laughs> accompaniment <laughs> on a table, yeah. topless. <laughs> yeah. So that was something to behold. <laughs> Cellist Kate Ellis, who's based in Dublin, Ireland, mm -hmm. uh, gave a really wonderful concert which included a uh, commission by Sean McAllen. Um, and her pieces uh, she chose really carefully and yeah. deliberately to show off aspects of the cello and, and what it could do, not just musically, but just in terms of different sounds and noises. Yeah. Um, it was a whole other kind of world that she explored. Yeah. It was really exciting, using visuals and kind of up-close camera work, um, which really kind of showed exactly what she was doing, so it kind of lifted a whole other kind of layer and to look at the cello, and again, in a different way. Yeah. 